So you also wanted to start web development, huh? Don't worry, here I am. Hey guys, jokes apart, in this video I am going to share you a perfect beginner friendly roadmap for web development in 2024. So without wasting any time, let's begin. I will divide this roadmap into three phases. First will be beginner, second will be intermediate and third will be advanced. So let's discuss each of them in detail. So in this phase we are going to set up our environment and learn all the basic things. So at first we will set up our VS code for web development. So if you haven't seen my video on VS code, I will share the link on the description so you can follow it. So after completing the VS code setup, we will start our web development journey. At first we will learn HTML and CSS. We will learn all the basic tags needed in HTML and all the basic properties needed in CSS. Start building projects and learn by doing, so not that theory based learning. You know what I'm saying. After learning HTML and CSS, build two or three websites. Then we will jump into JavaScript. If JavaScript is not your first programming language, then you have to learn few basic things like how syntax work and then jump into the advanced topic of JavaScript like promises and all that. I would suggest you to give the most of your time learning javascript because everything you will do will be written in javascript anyways so if your basics are clear it will help you in the long run after learning javascript you have to make two or three projects it will be our first phase which is beginner phase now let's jump into the second phase at this stage you already know html css and javascript and you know how to build basic websites now we will jump into JavaScript and CSS frameworks. For JavaScript frameworks, I will suggest you to choose between React and Vue.js as a beginner. Personally, I prefer React.js because currently React has more job opportunities than Vue.js. So you can choose accordingly whichever you want. After learning React, you have to build minimum 5 projects like Airbnb clone, Netflix clone, anything you want. After building 5 projects, if you feel confident, then jump into CSS frameworks like Tailwind CSS, Bootstrap, etc. But I would suggest you to learn Tailwind because it is currently the most popular one. Again, you have to build three projects in Tailwind before you jump into anything else. Now in this stage, if you feel confident in React and Tailwind, I would suggest you to jump into TypeScript. I will share the most important things to learn in TypeScript on the screen. So you can screenshot it if you want. It will be our intermediate phase and now we will jump into the advanced phase. In this phase, we are going to learn more advanced topics like server-side rendering, static-side generation, how SEO works, component libraries and more. So at first, we will learn Next.js for React and Next for Vue. This is the most important things to learn in this framework. You can screenshot it if you want. If you can't find new ideas, you can rebuild those apps again which you have built in React or Vue.js in the earlier phase. Now this is optional. You can learn how SEO works. I will show you the most important things to learn in SEO as well. You can screenshot it if you want. After learning Next.js, if you feel confident, then jump into component libraries like Material UI, Sat CN, etc. But I would suggest you to use SatCN because it is becoming the most popular component libraries in 2024. Now at this stage you must have 10 to 15 projects on your hand which you have built earlier on those three phases. So I would suggest you to upload those projects on GitHub so that you can show your employer how much experience you have. This will be the end of this phase and this roadmap. Now start applying for jobs and build projects until you land a job. This is a beginner friendly roadmap. So if you want the full roadmap in detail, you can comment full roadmap, I will make a video on that. So guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. If you did, please hit that like button and leave a comment below. And if you are new here, please subscribe and join this journey of learning. And I will see you on the next one.